YouTube. Backyard Barbecue with Barbecue X. This is your boy, Mr. B from Backyard Barbecue. On another cooking session, y'all. It is Sunday. I'm amped up. My Florida Gators pulled it off at the end. And, and if you hadn't seen it, if you watch college football, just go back and look at the highlight. Just that one last nine seconds ago. Hail Mary, touchdown, we won. All that matters is SEC Championship going to Atlanta. I'll be there if they win. But anyway, on another note, like I said, it's Sunday. NFL is on. I'm amped up. Ready to see my 49ers play at 4 o'clock. We're doing a, cook, a quick meal, man. We got people coming over, just a few people uh, to watch the game out there in the garage. Got everything going. Uh, we're going to use the Weber Kettle Grill with my slowest sear. And we're going to see what it do, man. Quick meals. Like I said, you ain't got to do nothing extravagant. Just grab a couple things out of the refrigerator. Put it to use. So come on with me in this kitchen. Let's get to it, y'all. Chicken wings. What's up, backyard barbecuers? It is that time, right? So what I have here is one, this case right here. I got this from Walmart a long time ago. I don't know why I bought it back then, but it is perfect when you're doing a lot of meat. Um, actually, this is the only one I got. I should have bought multiple of them. Because I hadn't seen it since then. Well, I hadn't been looking. But anyway, these are drumettes. All right? Um, they've already thawed out. And I'm going to do simple today. Like I said, this is quick meals. The game's about to come on. Uh, simple. Yellow mustard as a coating. Put that on first. I got some... Uh, I saw this in the store today when I was actually looking for some... Uh, some turkey legs. Uh, one of the viewers requested turkey legs. So I'm going to do a video on that uh, sometime in the near future. So I was looking for turkey legs. Got some chicken wing sauce. Uh, Go taste it and try it out, man. Ain't but one way to find out if it's worth something. It was a dollar. And sometimes, y'all, cheap products are probably the best, right? And this is, remember, this channel is about what you have in the kitchen and not spending a lot of money on food. So we're going to try cheap products. Uh, no, ain't nobody sent me this and trying to do it. I wish they did, then I went here to spend my dollar. And comment below if you know what's in here. You know, my uh my loyal subscribers or viewers, they know what's in here. Anyway, comment below if you know what's in here. It's time to refill it. But that's what all I'm gonna do. So I'm gonna use this later on. I'm not gonna put it on right now. I'm just gonna coat the wings with mustard. And then I'm gonna come back and put my handy dandy seasoning on that. The mustard, y'all, is just for the seasoning to stick, whatever seasoning you use. So just keep that in mind. So, without further ado, and stop talking so much, let's get to it, y'all. I'll be back in a minute. All right, y'all. Like I said, just coat the mustard on now. You won't taste the mustard at all, y'all, for those who are scared. Now, if you're scared, tell you what you do. Just take you one or two wings, put it out to the side, coat them, and cook your wings like you normally do, and put the, uh, the mustard on a couple of them. Just a couple. Trial and error, right? This may not be for everybody. You know what I mean? I'm not a big steak person, but guess what? People in my household is. So, you know, everybody's taste buds are different. So, you won't actually taste this mustard when it's done. So, if you so if you comment below and tell me, hey, I don't like the mustard way, then I, I, I probably have to question if you ever tried it just for the simple fact that you won't even taste the mustard once it's done. But anyway, like I said, everybody's taste buds are different. And uh, people do things a million different ways to achieve the same objective. And right today, that's cooking these doggone wings. All right, show y'all real quick what they look like. Bright and yellow. All right. All right. Y'all see I got my gloves on. That's just because I'm, I'm, I'm messing with this chicken. And I got other people coming to the house later on. So obviously when I'm dealing with food and other people uh, put it in their bodies, I'm going to put my gloves on. All right, so I'm going to let that sit for about five minutes. These are, are semi-frozen. Uh, all, all, almost all the way thawed out because what's going to happen is I'm going to light my grill and I'm going to leave these out. That way they come come to, uh, uh, they'll, they'll be th totally thawed out by the time I put them on the grill. So just understand that. Anyway, uh, I'm going to go ahead and put the seasoning on there. Y'all know how this works. Just pour seasoning on and season them up. And we're going to go out to the grill and get this, this part of started, y'all. All right, real quick, I'm going to show y'all. All right, real quick, I'm going to show you a little little trick to keep your, your Weber kettle grill uh, from keep getting dirty at the bottom, having grease at the bottom, or the grease turning into glump, and then you gotta clean it up maybe every two or three cooks. 
Let's get you one of these small little pans. I coat mine with oil. Uh, don't ask me why. Just something I do. Uh, just over, over over time. Just learned that oil works better than cleaning it out. Like to continue using. This is a brand new one. So I got some uh, peanut oil. Remember I told you about that peanut oil you keep? Works wonders on everything. But anyway, all you do is just sit it in here. Bam. Opposite of your uh, your heat source. Cold wood, whatever you're using. Anyway, thought you'd all uh, find that interesting. And then I'm going to put my grill grate on and put his chicken on. I'll be back in a minute. All right, barbecue lady, check this out. Here is the product. If you can see these wings, they're a little yellowish looking. I want you to pay close attention as we go through this cook because the color is going to change on them. If you want your wings to be dark red, reddish color, throw you some cherry chunks in there, cherry wood. But anyway, we're going to go ahead and throw these on the grill real quick. No special way to place them other than not over the heat. And going from there, and you just flip them as you go. You got skin on both sides, so it doesn't really matter what, what side you put on them uh, on the grill first. I just put them on and then sporadically uh, just flip them over, maybe one or two times. Depends on how I feel. And go from there. Yep. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and do this. Y'all get the picture, and we'll be back once I'm gonna put the lid on, and then we're gonna come back. Uh, in about, let's say an hour, an hour, and then see what they look like. Like I said, it's quick cooked, y'all. Uh, no need to uh, look at it every 15 minutes. It's not over the over the heat source. So, works wonders, especially if you're cooking other food to go with this. Uh, potatoes, french fries, you want to put that on the, on the grill for your kids or, um, or what have you. You notice I didn't say what not that time. See, I caught myself. See, I'm working on it. But anyway, that's your boy, Mr. B. We'll be back in a minute. What's up, folks? Let's see what this down on grill look like. Woo. Let me give you a close-up before I even touch it. First time looking at it, y'all. Mm-hmm. I got chicken on top of each other. But it's all good. You just keep moving it around until we get it, get it where we want it. I hate these tongs here. Anyway, I ain't gonna let you sit, sit here and watch me flip all this meat over. But uh, that's how it is. I think it's been on for about an hour and a half. It's probably cooking slower because um, I've got to take the chicken out and let it come to room temperature or right before room temperature. So it's all good. I ain't in no rush. And we'll be back in a, in a little bit. I'll show you the final product because all I need to do is flip these one more time. Um, actually, I take that back. I'm going to do half of these where I put them in sauce. And then put them back on the grill. And then we're going to go from there, y'all. All right. Be back in a little bit. What's up, barbecue world? We're about to go and check on these uh, wings. And I'm going to show you how I mix this uh $1.00. Louisiana Supreme chicken wing sauce in there and then put them back on the grill. But first, let me get a close up on these wings. Show you wing playing. Some of them look more done than others, but I'm gonna go ahead and take the ones that are pretty much done and drop them off in this pan. I'm gonna show you what I'm gonna do. All right, we back, y'all. As you can see, I got these wings in the pan. Get a little close up real quick. All I'm gonna do is take this. I already took, I already took the little paper top off or whatever, and I'm gonna spray this all over. It ain't it ain't but a dollar, so feel free to use it uh as you see fit. Then we're gonna stir it up, mix it up, and then put them back on the grill. Easy day. Don't y'all just hate when you go buy some wings from somewhere and they half ass sauce you know what I mean like this you get a wing and it only got a little bit of sauce on there well for a dollar you can use this whole damn bottle and that's what we're gonna do today well maybe not the whole thing because that's a lot of liquid but yeah we're gonna uh, mix all this up and put them back on the grill for about 10 minutes and then you're gonna have some buffalo wings so I'm gonna go ahead and do this, mix this up, and then uh, 
I'm gonna put them on the grill and show you the final product. Peace. All right, let me let you get a close up of these wings. You can probably just eat them right now, but I want I want the sauce to cook into them for a little bit. So what I'm gonna do is slide it right over that heat for about five to ten minutes. Let it do its thing. Come back and take them off. We'll see you when the final product is done. Both sides, two different wings, y'all. What's up, y'all? Let me show you what these uh, wings looking like before I take them off. All right. I'm going to go ahead and take these off and then put, them in, put the other ones in a pan. And then go from there. These off. Let them cook. Take this. One more layer. Real quick. One more layer. Let them sit. Then I'm gonna take these and put them in the pans. And bring them in the house. Show y'all real close up. We'll show y'all the final product in a minute. All right, back y'all at barbecues. Here is the final product. See these right here? That's with the barbecue sauce and that's dry. Wonder which one the wife is getting. Eh, not that many, because the rest of us about to tear these up. Anyway, uh, let's try a taste test real quick. Woo. Mm, mm. Mm. Y'all, go get you some of that dog on sauce for a dollar. It's off a chain. Mm. Yeah. Yes, well. I'm gonna have to hurry him in this video so I can eat, y'all. So, with that being said, like I said, this is dry with seasoning. My special seasoning. Same seasoning, but with mustard and uh, coating over them. And then uh, coming back and putting the sauce on it, putting it on the grill for maybe 10, 15 minutes. And there you have it, two different types. This is your boy, Mr. B from Backyard Barbecue. And uh, go Gators. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe. Hello.